Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a handy little feature of OneNote that often goes overlooked by new users, and that is the template function. So you can see here, I've set up my demo notebook and I have a blank page that I've just created. It's an untitled page. And what I'm going to do is go to the insert menu. And from here, I'm going to page templates. And now we'll see over here on the right hand side, a bunch of templates that we can use. So let's say I'm a student in a history class. I can click on history class notes. And now the page is set up for me so I can take notes using this little format. Now, if I wanted to create my own template, I could just go to an untitled page and we'll call this one sample template or I'll rename it and maybe I'll call it my uh, lab template, lab report, there we go. And now I can go in and I'll do my typing in here and I'll just say, uh, you know, hypothesis. I want all my kids to follow this template where they put the hypothesis at the top. And then maybe we'll do another section where they'll put in their, uh, down here we might have them put in something like the procedure and so on and so forth. Now, down here in the bottom right corner, we'll say save current page as a template. Call it lab report template. And then we'll save it. And so now if I were to share this notebook with this template in it, all of my students can use that. And of course, they can take advantage of any of the other templates that are built in here like the to-do list or simple note-taking templates as well. So that's a neat little feature of OneNote that I think often goes overlooked by new users. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.